welcome to my channel Sashi K Creations. My latest project is finally done. I am so sorry about the delay. I know a lot of you have been waiting for a long time. Um, I just got married and my son, my youngest son Cosmos got baptized. So I've had a lot going on, um, but it's finally done. I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting. This is a um, um, mini album slash planner slash memory keeper thing. You can use it for whatever you want. Um, but it's not, um, it was not supposed to only be a mini album. I wanted to use the, the calendar themed papers. I hope you can see the idea be behind this album. So on the, on the front cover, I have used, um, I've used a lot of flowers from the design sheets. I fuzzy cut them and added some glossy accents to the flowers. And I also have some, some scraps in the, the paper um, behind all of the flowers here is actually from the stamp set. I used the calendar stamp set and this sheet of paper was uh, in the in the pack so I thought that I would use that because I did run out of um, of the design paper um, so I had to get creative when I made the cover I, I made the cover after I made the, the pages so um, so yeah that is from the, the stamp set and the blue is from the 8x8 paper pack. This is, um, yeah, this is what I have left from that. It's from the back of the, of the cover. Um, use that. I used that here and I also used it on the back of the cover used it here and then I have some leftover scraps that I put together here I like how they represent all of the pages in the in the album and then I have a sticker here and I have also added some fuzzy cuttings um, to cover up the you know on the on the back of the 8x8 there was this um, hook plastic thingy uh, glued onto to the back and I removed it with a heat gun but there were still some sticky parts left so I have added these to cover that and I also have a sticker here it's actually two stickers and I have um, and I have some some foam tape underneath to give it a little dimension and then on the spine I have actually nothing um, but on the corners here I've added two strips of leather paper um, that I punched out to I think it's I think it's stronger than you know regular cardstock so I wanted to use that hopefully it will make the album last a little longer and I have um, a chipboard piece here and then I made these so you can remove them and you know switch them out and you know it's a little it's a little late to start with uh, 2022 so I've added 23 also but you can of course add whatever you want it doesn't have to be you know a year if you want to add a name to your album you can do that so you can slide them in here and then for the closure I chose to make this cool belt I um, I had um, I found an old um, fake leather belt and I cut out a, a strip of that and punched some holes and added some eyelets and this is a, this is a buckle from Tim Holtz and then I've also added some metal corners and this is also a metal corner 
um, just squeezed together um, to fit the belt. So um, yeah, that is the that is the cover. Um, the leather paper I did not mention in my materials list video, but I am gonna put it in the description below. So the album measures eight and three quarters by almost nine inches and the spine measures four and a quarter and let's have a look inside this chunky monkey I think I'll start by showing you the hinge system. I've had a lot of questions about my magnetic hinge system. So as you can see, the pages, um, they don't hang because of all the magnets, but the hinge system is very flexible. Like so, you can get all of the pages loose. So if you, you know, when you, um, you know, open it up, the, the pages can lie, lie flat like this. I hope you, I hope you can see what I mean. Let's see the pages. So they are basically built the same way. Let's start with page number one, January. So this, um, this closure opens up. I've added some glossy accents to some of the details on all the closures. I also added some stamps and I have added some glossy accents to the flower down on, this, on these signs as well. So this opens up and this falls down. And of course you can add pictures here if you want or on this one. I'll try to keep all of it in frame. So, the pockets, I have um, a postcard here from the, from the cut apart sheet. And then I have a tag here with three of the stamps from the cut apart sheet as well. Oh, and they are just plain on the back. Um, And then I've fuzzy cut some. I fuzzy cut some of the um, from the design, from the design sheet, and made into a pocket. And I've added these two cards from the cut apart sheet as well. And then I've made a magnetic chipboard. And here are some of the smaller tags, also from the cut apart sheet. And down here, I've made this into a flip pocket thing. Um, you can, of course, use this card as a calendar if you want to. And then I've added, a I made a folder here. Where I have made these week cards from Monday to Sunday. I've only made two in each folder but of course you can make four or five if you want to if you want to you know have them for a whole month um, the idea was that if you wanted to use this as a planner um, you could maybe write down your plans or whatever um, on the weekdays and also you can of course write the date if you want to um, and then in this pocket here, I have just made a little photo map or a journal card. And then of course you can add some photos here. You can also use this for you know, a memory book. Um, um, if you have some tickets or you know some something like that, memories you want to keep. Um, I thought you could use the the magnets or the pockets, you know, to put stuff in there. 
And here I've added some glossy accents to the curl, also some stamps and glossy accents on the flower down here as well. And also this opens up and I have made a mistake here. This is upside down. It was not supposed to be, but it is and it's fine. It still works, but keep that in mind when you make the album. And this falls down. And then it's kind of the same. The postcard here from the codified sheet. And a tag with stamps. And plain on the back. A little pocket here with some glossy accents. And these two cute Valentine's cards. And a magnet here. And two small ear tags. And then you have the February calendar card thing. And it opens up like this. A little pocket here with a journal card or a photo map. And a folder. I've added stickers to all of the folders and a little stamp in the corner. And these are the February week cards. So this is March. And this opens up to the side. And to the other side. And again, we have a postcard in the pockets. And a tag with stamps. A little fuzzy cut pocket with glossy accents. And two cute cards. A magnetic chipboard piece. And two smaller tags. And then we have the March calendar card and this opens up. We have a little pocket and a, a little photo mat or a journaling card. And also a folder with a sticker and a stamp and two week cards for March. Then it's time for April. It also opens to the sides. And you have your April postcard here. And a tag with stamps. Two cards in the fuzzy cut pocket. Glossy accents on the flower and the butterfly. And these, and then a small chipboard piece with a magnet, and two smaller tags, and the April calendar card that opens up like this. And you have uh, this is a little different because I didn't have as much um, of the scraps left. So I added some lines instead that you can journal on. And you can also journal on the back or add a photo. And the, the little folder with two week cards for April. Oops. May is one of my favorite months. I really like the colors. So this opens down and this, then this one opens up. And then again, you have your foot card and your tag with the cute little stamps. A little pocket here with glossy accents and two small cards. 
a magnetic chipboard and two smaller tacks and the monthly card up and it has a little pocket with a folder mat or journaling card and a folder with two cards for May and June is also one of my favorites I like the pastel colors Card for June and the tag and the little pocket with glossy accents, two small cards and a magnetic chipboard, small tags. Oh, and the calendar card. And a little photo mat. And of course you can stuff way more in this pocket if you want to. The weight cards. Then we have July. This is my birthday month. It's also my husband's. We have our birthdays the same day. And the postcard for July. And the tape with the stamps. A little fuzzy card pocket with a lot of glossy accents and two smaller cards. A magnetic chipboard and two small checks. Oops. And I'm sorry. Um, calendar card. A little pocket with a format. And a folder, of course, with two week cards for July. August. I love the sunflowers on this. This falls down. The August postcard. Cute. And the Big tag here with the small stamps. A magnetic chipboard piece and two smaller tags. And a fuzzy card pocket with glossy accents. Two small cards. The August calendar card. A little photo mat. A folder. And two August cards. September. A lot of apples going on here. The September postcard. And the tag with stamps. A fuzzy cut pocket and two cards. A magnetic piece of chipboard. Two smaller tags. The September calendar card, it opens up and it has a little photo mat or journaling card. Oops. And a folder 
with two weak cards. October, I love this Halloween theme. This opens to the side and the other side. And you have your October card here. A tag. A fuzzy cut pocket with glossy accents and two small cards. Magnetic chipboard, two smaller tags. And this falls to the side. And a folder with two week cards for October. And a small photo map. Then this falls down, November Thanksgiving theme. November card. And a tag with stamps. Magnetic piece of chipboard, smaller tags. Fuzzy cut pocket, two small cards, Oops. November calendar card, it opens up, here is a small photo map, and a folder with, you guessed it, two weekly November cards. And last but oh, last but not least, December. This is not too Christmassy. It's so pretty with all of the uh, Christmas flowers. And the <clears throat> and the, and the December postcard. The tag stamps and a fuzzy cut pocket with a glossy accent and two cute cards magnetic chipboard piece two small tags and the calendar card a little pocket for your photo map and the folder with two week cards for December. I hope you like the idea behind this album. I hope you can see where I'm going with this and I hope that of course you want to try to make it. I'm still editing some of the footage for the tutorial, but I will upload it as um, as I get it done um, and then of course I will now get started on the desk organizer I know that a lot of you are still waiting for that one I'm sorry again for the delay I've just you know had a lot of stuff going on um, but I I hope to have it done some time in April. So I hope you really like this this album. Um, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified about my upcoming videos. Um, so thank you for watching and have a great day.